inhibitor model. In case you experience a problem or a challenge while loading your token, um, this is what you are supposed to do to troubleshoot. Hello guys, this is Duotec Electrical Contractors Limited YouTube channel and yeah, today is a special day because I'm going to do a video regarding inhibitor prepaid energy meter and uh, to start with, uh, a keypad spread energy meter consists of two units, eh? one is CIU and the other one is MCU. MCU is a measurement control unit and the CIU or UAU is a customer uh, interface unit and a customer or a user will uh, use or will operate different codes uh, during inquiry of a token barangs or meter number by use of uh, or through CIU. In case you experience a problem or a challenge while loading your token, um, this is what you are supposed to do to troubleshoot. Always make sure your CIU have batteries which are in good conditions so that even when your token is exhausted without uh, being aware you can use those batteries to load your meter so in case your token has been exhausted you are required to go straight to your premise in your premise or in your house there is a power socket outlet which you are supposed to use so regardless of whether there is power or not and at this point because you have you have exhausted your token you are required to plug in your CIU power cable and switch it on okay you are required to use you are required to plug in your CIU in a power socket outlet and make sure you have switched on and then from there you can load your token believe me if you do so you will be able all your meter will be loaded with token successfully in case the problem persists or in case your batteries are not in good condition you can use your neighbor's house or power socket outlet to load your token the socket or the house of your neighbor and your meter or the meter used in your neighbor's house and your meter must be sharing the same face or the same line of face for the meter to accept the token all i mean you must make sure that your neighbor's house uh, the meter and your meter are sharing the same 
fils. Ok. If the problem persists, or you can contact a qualified electrician with an excellent reputation to come and assist you to troubleshoot your meter. Okay? And if the technicians or your electricians rule out the meter is faulty, you can report the meter to your nearest KPLC office for a replacement. Okay? However, you must contact a qualified electrician who is able to troubleshoot energy meters okay there are so many ways of troubleshooting in meter or wireless split keypad meters and like i have said one is using the socket of your house where your meter has been wired to check any any error with the meter and you input 095 The CIU will display the code on our light hand that shows the problem with our meter.